Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody uh, sent me a message today on a seamless pattern, how to do a seamless pattern. And I wrote back to him and said, I don't know what you're talking about. So he he told me the name of a video to go watch and the user's name. And I'm not going to, I don't have the right to put his name in here, but I can't work out exactly what he's doing. He's too fast. And... It's just music, and it is too fast, and I'm going to do it. I got down the, the, the basic uh, idea. I'm going to do a little bit different heat power clip. I, I'm getting not to like power clip, but this is a pattern that's seamless. So we're just going to make one real quick, and the easiest way to do it is to make it symmetrically like 10 inches by 10 inches and change your nudge factor to 10 inches. That's the key. So your nudge, in case the gentleman I'm doing this for does not speak English, your nudge is 10 and your size of your box is 10. And then I'm just going to take some ellipses, doesn't matter what size, and I'm going to put them right there. And I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and I'm going to nudge it over. So it's identical to that side. I'm going to make another one and I'm actually going to put it way down there. I'm going to control well, a lot of times when you control D, it's going to put it way down there. So let's just delete that one and go control D and move it over there. You know, now that I think about it, that was a little bit too symmetrical. So let's, let's make this next one a little bit smaller. And um, so it won't be quite symmetrical. And you need it in the center of your line to make this work. Because when you control D, then it puts it in the center of that other line. And at first, I didn't know what the person was doing. But after I figured it out, it's pretty simple. Control D, and we'll put one. Let's put it right in the middle. Control D, delete that one. Control D, and put it up top. And then I would just take some random shapes of the ellipse and make them smaller and just put them wherever. And this is a good example of how Corel Draw can actually help you, you know, kind of space them out. Whoop, can't do that. And I'm not going to put too many, but we'll move this one here. Anyway, so we got a random shape. I want to select everything and I'm going to back minus front. And you see, I get a Swiss cheese. I'm not going to power clip, but I'm going to fill it in with color. Well, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to smart fill it. Well, we'll do it in black. And then it doesn't matter where you put it. We'll get rid of this for a second. And we still got a nudge factor set on 10 inches. This is 10 inches. So we'll control D and move it over there. Control D and move those over here. Uh, let's grab two more. Control D and move this over here. Now, because it doesn't have an outline, we can take and select the whole thing and go up to a range and combine it. Now there's no seams. And you've got the pattern repeatedly over and over and over. There's still lines there. But you can't see them because we can bind them. So that would engrave or print. Um, so I guess that's what you call a seamless pattern. That's a pretty cool effect. I've done this same thing, kind of thing with tessellations. And uh, that's how the tessellation kind of works. Uh, but it's a little bit different. So anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.